Hi friends, this is April Simpson Hunt. Welcome to Mermaid Mama Designs. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I am making a video for the stepmoms. I have been a stepmother now for about seven years. It comes with its own set of challenges that are unique to blended families. If you are a new step parent, step mom, and you feel alone, I'm here for you. Um, there is lots of support on Facebook. Um, there are also support groups online. I don't know of any specific websites, but if you'd like me to link some, I can in the comments below. Just let me know. Um, if you would like to get to know me, if you would like some advice, if you would just like someone to listen, I am absolutely here for you. Um, you can either comment below or you can email me at mermaidmamadesigns at gmail.com and I would like to be there for you if you feel like you need someone to help. Um, actually, I'm going to do a disclaimer first. My disclaimer is this. I am not an expert. <laughs> I am not a psychologist. I am not someone who knows everything about being in a blended family. I don't. I, I, I really don't. <laughs> this is just a few things that I put together that I have learned over the years that I wish I had known before now. <laughs> so, this is my tips and tricks, my advice for uh, step parents or parents in general. <laughs> um, Number one is do not take it personally when they don't like you. Um, they could be your stepchildren, it could be the ex, it could be your mother-in-law. Um, just for this, just remember that a lot of the reasons that they don't like you have nothing to do with you as a person. Um, it is more of a situational thing. Um, most of the time, the reason my stepkids didn't like me when I first came into the picture was just because they thought I was replacing their mother. Um, they thought I was going to try and be their mother. <laughs> um, so they had a lot of resentment for me off the bat. Um, so if you walk into a situation and you're dealing with that, do not take it personally because it has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the situation. Okay? <laughs> Uh, number two, attachments and bonds take lots of time. Bye. Number three is always be the bigger person. There's nothing I can say about that. Just do it <laughs> and you'll be happy that you did. Uh, number four is kind of on the same note but a little bit different. Always be a grown-up. Um, there were a lot of situations when my husband and I first got together that brought out the petty in me. Um, and they made me want to retaliate or um, speak my mind. At the end of the day, thank goodness that I always gave myself five minutes to think about things before responding. We, we dealt with a lot of stuff at first, honestly. A lot of lies and a lot of drama. And it was very trying to my patients. It was very hard. Um, because it felt like a personal attack. We'll have to say your piece, but you can always do that in a responsible grown-up fashion. Uh, don't ever do it in anger. That is my advice. Learned the hard way and still in the process of learning. <laughs> the next one is um, one of my favorite ones that I'm still working on. Uh, learn what is black, learn what's white, and learn what's gray. Um, with your boundaries, obviously. Um, these are very important. <laughs> you may not think so. They may not be, I guess, in your situation, but in our situation, it's very important uh, because there are lots of things that all of our kids do that I don't really like, but it's okay for them to do it. It's not gonna kill me. Um, and then there are some things that our kids do that are absolutely not okay because it's a character issue and things like lying and rebelliousness. Um, <clears throat> those are things that are completely off limits. Um, and then there are things like, I don't know, being picky about what they eat that for me is not, that's a, a white area, I guess. I don't know <laughs> which color is which, but um, 
I don't really care about that. They can have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if they want to not eat dinner. Um, so, but it was important that I figure that out because now that we have his kids and my kids, we have to have set rules for all of them that are the same continuous set of rules. Um, so you're absolutely going to need to know what is okay, what's not okay, and what kind of pisses you off, but it's okay if they do it. The next one is don't expect any thank yous. Um, don't expect any pats on the back. Don't expect any to be... be <laughs> don't expect anybody to be happy that you showed up to work that day <laughs> as a mom. Um, it just, it's not going to happen the majority of the time. Even though you feel like you're working really hard and you should be getting thanked for it, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Um, with regard to expectations in general, I wouldn't expect too much, period. Um, I have found, for me personally, that when I set my expectations high, um, they have a tendency to not be met, and then when my expectations are not met, I get a little, um, I get disappointed, and then my disappointment turns into resentment, um, and I just, that's a whole process that you can avoid by setting your expectations a little bit lower. So, next one, don't rush to change things and don't change too many things at once. Um, it's already, the kids are already going through a lot. If you're in a blended family and you've just been introduced to the situation, um, they don't need to deal with a whole bunch of rule changes and household changes and everything else on top of that. So you can absolutely implement changes, but I would just go very slowly and try to do one thing at a time. We've been together seven years and our kids are just now starting to do chores. <laughs> and I'm a big believer in chores. So go slowly. Remember to have fun. This is one of the big ones. Come on, come on. Say hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. The most, the time that we did most of our bonding, um, but it didn't even feel like we were trying to bond the most, was when we were having fun going and doing things as a family together, spending time together, getting to know each other. These were the times that we ended up becoming closer. So if you just remember to have fun <laughs> instead of trying to stress things so much, it'll make things be a lot easier for you. Um, I guess that's just good life advice in general, right? Um, it's also something that I have the hardest time with. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm actually a really goofy type of person, but I'm also very type A, I guess. So um, those two things conflict with each other and I end up very stressed out because my half of my brain wants to get things done in a very particular way and then the other half of my brain is like, screw it, let's go play. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so if you just remember to take a deep breath, Relax and try to have fun with the kids. You'll end up a lot closer. Hi guys. Okay, I'm almost done. All right. Last tip for you guys. Um, the last thing I have to say is, even though more kids may mean more chaos, more things like that, <laughs> more frustration, more stress, more noise. <laughs> um, more kids also means more joy, more fun, more love. What else? More laughter. <laughs> so that has been 10 tips for new stepmoms. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, once again, I am not an expert. Not even someone that knows a whole bunch, just someone who wants to help other stepmoms um, with things that I've struggled with in the past. The number one thing I want you to remember is you are not alone. I know that as a mother, you deal with kids all day, and it's so funny to me because 
you are with little people all day, but you still end up feeling completely alone. Um, <clears throat> as a stepmother, I felt very alone too, um, because on top of that, even the mom friends that I had didn't really understand all of the struggles that I dealt with. Um, so you, if you are a stepmother, uh, you are absolutely not alone. Uh, look and try to find a support group reach out to me if you need to. Again, my uh, email is mermaidmamadesigns at gmail.com. Uh, you can also comment below and I'll always respond. I would love to be there for you or to help you find someone who will. Anyway, thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Smash that like bell to get notifications. Yeah. And then ring the bell to get notifications. Ring the bell to get notifications. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're not ready, you clap, clap. clap your hands. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> the, um, the like Give us a thumbs up. And you're the fun Yay! Alright. Have a great day!